Yo, what is up guys, it's Zender, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a vanilla mod. Uh, so what you want to have on your desktop or wherever is the resource pack for it and an MC function file. These can both be downloaded from the description of whichever video of mine that you are looking at. So as you can see, I have the two here, and what we're going to want to start off by doing is finding our Minecraft directory, which you can do on Windows by going here, trying to find run by searching for it there, opening that, and then entering percent app data percent, as shown here, of course. This is gonna be different for Mac or Linux operating systems, so just make sure that you know how to do this, but you're trying to find your Minecraft directory. So now, as you can see here, we are gonna to wanna to go to our saves folder, where we can see all of our Minecraft worlds, and now we actually have to create a world. So if you have one already in mind that you wanna add this uh, mod to, then you can just add it but for me, I'm gonna actually want to create the world. So let's give this a second to boot up. I'm just gonna call this vanilla mod for testing sake. So I'm gonna set it to creative for me and make sure that you have allow cheats on because this is very important for enabling your vanilla mods. So now as you can see, here we are. So now if you look at the folder, there is the world file. Then you're gonna wanna go to data and then click on functions. Now that we're in here, this is where you want to drag your .mc function file, which will end up running all of the commands needed for this vanilla mod to run. But first, you have to have create a folder called vanilla mods. This is where you're gonna drag any vanilla mod that you wanna add to this world. And as you can see, there we have it. To enable the function, use slash function vanilla mods which is the name of the folder that you created, and then a colon, and then the name of whatever vanilla mod you're trying to run. Here we have memes too, but you just replace that with whatever mod you're trying to run. Remember, this has to be the exact name of the file. So as you can see, it says there's an unknown function, so we have to reload the functions because it hasn't looked in the folder yet. So as soon as you reload it, it should work and begin to run. I'm just gonna get some beef and redstone and use this vanilla mod a little bit just to show you that it's working. Now we need to add the resource pack. So most of you probably know how to do this already, but just go to your resource packs folder and move the one that you downloaded into it. Now, as you can see, when we go back to resource packs, the new one is there and when we run it, it will work. Voila, your vanilla mod is now installed. Hope you guys found this video useful and make sure to check out my other content, including my memes 2.0 mod. It's my first vanilla mod ever and hopefully there will be a lot more this summer. See you guys in another video.